What's up guys? So today I'm going to be taking you guys through um, how to kind of create a team builder team with the team builder site down. Um, it's kind of a kind of a long process. Uh, I figured out I'll give credit shout out to uh, I'll post the Reddit post in the description. But this is kind of where I got the basis for how to do this. Um, you can definitely check that out. But um, yeah, so with Team Builder being down, I kind of started looking into it uh, with some of the using the editor, the EADB editor. If you don't know what that is, it's a program that can edit game files for NCA 14. So I was kind of looking into that and I found kind of a way to sort of make yourself a team builder. Like if you look at this first save I have right here, it's a team builder save with a team builder team that I did not make online. So first off, you want to start a new dynasty, obviously. I'm going to do it on my flash drive because you'll need it. Uh, you need a flash drive because you have to transfer it over to your computer. Um, so we'll just go new coach, whatever. And then you want to import a team builder team. So you can pick whatever. This is the team that I used last time. I'll just use them again. We'll just replace. Hold up. Okay. Okay, so I had to switch back to my other storage device, but I'll just copy it over onto the flash drive. So as I said, pick this team, just replace Air Force. All right, and then we're done. And then this doesn't really matter. I'm just going to change the name of it so that I remember which one it is. So we'll just do, uh, we'll just do, we'll call it vid. Okay, everything else doesn't matter because this is literally just for the sole purpose of showing you guys. So then we're going to pick to be the head coach of this team, obviously. So I, you don't even have to. It doesn't really matter which team you pick. Actually, you should probably pick your team builder team. But uh, auto save, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so what I want you to pay attention to right now is you can see that the the background color is kind of what it's called is white, right? So like the menu color is white. So just remember that just for for down the line. But I will save it here, and then I'm going to save it on my flash drive as well. And so to s select device, go to my flash drive new we'll call it vid as well and so then it'll be on my flash drive so I can transfer it over to my computer so now we should have everything set up on here this is really everything you have to do on here and then I'll be switching over to my computer and then I'll be back all right so here we are on my desktop so the first thing, I plugged in my flash drive, as you can see right here. So I'm using um, an Xbox brand flash drive. So this this next part might be a little bit different for you guys. So you want to open up Modio. Um, if you don't have that, I will hopefully have a link in the description. Otherwise, it's really not hard that hard to find. Uh, most of you, if you're looking into this, you've probably used the editor before. So this will be kind of a review. So for me, I have to do open from a device. I'm pretty sure everybody has to do this, but my, this might be a little bit different since I'm using the Xbox brand flash drive, but I open it from my profile, NCA 14, then vid, that's the, that's the file we want. So we wait for that to open. While that's opening, we will get the editor ready. So we'll load up the editor File contents, you want to go here, you want to click over the top up here, file contents. Then you want to click extract file. And then I'm going to, this is the folder that I have my dynasty saves on. But you can just, you know, put it on the desktop or whatever if you want, if it makes it quicker for you. But I'm going to save it there. So there you go. Mario is done for now. You can minimize that. So then you want to go over here to the generic EA DB reader, so which is the EA database editor. And you'll want to load up a config and that this should come with your download. 
but you want to load up Zans NCA14 Dynasty config. And you'll open that up. It'll take a little bit. And it'll probably stay, say not responding a few times. So then we want to go over here. We want to click open. And we want to find that file that we just had. That we just took off of um, the flash drive. Which mine is right here. And then you click open. So while this is opening, I kind of want to do a shout out. This is the Reddit post that I was talking about by the Kenny Hunter. Shout out to him. So he looked, this is all the, a lot of the uniform codes and what they pertain to. And so I should have shown this on the Xbox, but it's not a big deal. So that team builder team has blue, white, and black, I think is their color scheme. And so keep that in mind. Theirs are blue, white, and black. So... Um, this is kind of where I got the basis this is he honestly, he did most of the hard work finding all of these. I just found a few extras that kind of help you out and I organized them also. So shout out to him for sure. But also one question I think down here that they had was for the colors. And I actually found the answer to that question. Somebody else might've, like I said, um, this probably isn't new news to some people. Some people have already probably been doing this, but I figured I'd just make a video on it. So now that this is open, we'll want to go to team data. We'll start with just the beginning. So obviously you look right here, we're in team data and then teams. This is the team builder team. It shows up. So this is where you can change it to whatever you want for like the team name and everything. So we'll go with, uh, central Alabama and central sorry about my keyboard it's really loud alabama and we'll just go lions lions and then c a u and then obviously you can like change your rival so we could put this is this is the easy stuff alabama or whatever all this kind of stuff We'll skip all that. Um, the other thing that you'll probably want to do here is stadium. You can pick a stadium. Stadiums can sometimes ha sometimes have issues, like from the testing that I've done. Um, sometimes the stadiums will have like two different end zones, like depending on which which stadium you pick. Like one end zone will be your end zone, and it'll have your color scheme and your name. But then the other one will be like the other team, kind of like it's a bowl game. I think that's if you pick a bowl game stadium, it does that. But we'll skip that for now. Or right here, we'll we'll just throw on like a high school field, just so. So here we'll go northeast small high school. So here, this, this is where it kind of gets a little bit more complicated. So this is your team logo, and then I think this applies to the logo that's on your helmet as well. So you'd think that if you change this to like three, you'd be able to use Alabama's logo on your helmet. But I have found that that isn't the case, at least from the testing I've done. If someone figures out how to do it, that'd be great. You can change the team logo. So I could change this team logo and it'd go from that white Wisconsin W to say if I put three, it would be Alabama's logo. Um, but what I'm gonna do, this is one of the downsides of this. Obviously, since there's no online logo um, uploader, you can't get custom logos in there. So you can either stick with the logo you have. If you're, if you're just editing your team's jerseys of an already created team builder, then you don't have to worry about the logo. But if you're trying to create a new team builder, then the logo is kind of, you know, kind of a bummer, but so this is 202. So I'll just go to like 210 and that'll just take the logo off. And then for roster helmet, I'll go to 210 as well. And unfortunately, that's going to put an EA logo on the side of the helmet, but that's all you can do if you don't want to use the logo that's already on that team builder. So say you have a team builder that's like a blue and green color scheme, but you want to be like red and black, and that logo just doesn't look good on the helmets, you're going to have to deal with a EA logo on the side of your helmet unless somebody who has more knowledge of this than I do knows how to put numbers on the side of your helmet using the editor. Cause then you could just use numbers like Alabama has. Um, so then we could, 
that would be a way to make it work. I, I'd like to figure that out. If anyone knows for sure, let me know. Somebody who knows a lot more about this stuff than me. I'm going to save it here real quick. File, save. It'll say done. We can keep going. So this is where it gets kind of complicated. So I'll pull up. I have a Word document. I'm going to pull that up real quick. Um, call it Jersey Values. I can probably post this somehow for you guys to look at it. It's a little bit, it's pretty much um, this Reddit post, just a little bit more organized. Yes, I don't care. We'll go here and we'll just click that. We'll bring you over here. Okay, you can go down. So this is, I just put, I wrote everything out, but then I'm probably going to delete this out. So I reordered everything kind of by what they edit. So what you want to do um, this is for uniforms though, so I guess we'll get to this part in a second. If we go back to teams, what we're looking at is here, TB2B and TBCB. So if you go down, I have it written out right here. So the TBC values, anything that begins with TBC, or of these six values, those are the primary colors. So you know that menu color I was talking about? That's what it affects. So TBCB is the blue scale of your primary color and these primary colors this primary color that you change it to it affects like when you have accessories that are team color they will be this color so this is at 235 so what we want to do this is where we need to come over to here and so this was the trouble that people were having with it is they didn't know i guess i'll preface this first if you go over here all these colors you can see are in full full decimal as opposed to hexadecimal or as opposed to in the RGB scale like this. I'm not sure if that's the correct word for it, but you guys know what I mean. Um, so we will use these values. We'll use the decimal for the uniform, actual uniform editing. But for the team color, we want to use these values. So let's say, what do we want? We'll just go like, there we go, with like a green. So then this will be our primary color. So we'll, we'll go to TBCB. Let's just make sure we're on the right team. Yes, we are, Central Alabama. It'll say Wright's Town for now, but once you save it and once you like load it up again, or I think even if you click Recalc Maps, it should change this to Central Alabama. So let's get back to TBCB. So then I'll put 90 in for TBCB, which is primary color blue. So blue right here, we'll put that in. So we'll keep working with primary colors. So you want to go down a little bit to TBCG. So that's the green value. So you put 165. And then you want to go down f even farther to TBCR, and that's the red value. So we'll put 67 in there. So that'll be our primary color. So now our primary color should be this. So then for secondary color, let's go. Secondary color really doesn't matter as much. So let's just go, let's just go white. So we'll go 255 across the board for secondary color. So let's go a little bit too far right there. Let's go back to TB2B. So that's the secondary color blue. Blue scale. So 255, since the blue is 255. It'll be 255 for everything. So TB2G, which is green. 255 and then TB2R which is red 255 so then there we got our primary and secondary colors set so our primary color which I should probably remember actually so we can use it in the actual jerseys is green but it's not a big deal usually what I'll do as you can see down here this is the team builder team I made I um I'll just take the colors for each thing I'll take uh, and I'll put it down there so I remember as opposed to having to go back and forth between this website So we'll actually do that real quick. We'll just put I already have the white right there. That's the 255 white so then We'll just grab it doesn't have to be the same green. We'll just grab another Another color it really doesn't matter if it's green or not Probably doing a different color actually would make it easier for you guys to kind of follow so we'll we'll do like this color so we'll grab the decimal so we'll just call that's kind of like a purplish color 
And then actually let's first grab, I don't think the hexadecimal really is not as big of a deal now, but I'm gonna throw it in there anyway. And then the raw decimal, put that in there. So now we have that for reference. So then I do not need, so we can kind of, we really won't need this as much anymore since we kind of know the values. So we have this, we'll be using this white and we'll be using this purple for the jerseys. We can even maybe use this black if need be. So what we're gonna do, I guess we'll keep that up. We'll go back over here. So the primary colors, secondary colors are done. And you guys will see what that affects when we get back in game. So now we're gonna head over to the uniforms. So this is where it gets kind of complicated. This is where, I'm not gonna go through everything, but I'm kind of gonna give you guys a gist. So we're gonna start, we're just gonna work on the home jersey. I'm just gonna show you how it works on the home jersey. So what we're looking for, I already know this jersey because I've used this team builder for this edit before, doesn't have the home jersey top stripe. So if it doesn't have the home jersey top stripe, this value is gonna be zero. So we don't even really have to look for it. So what we're looking for is CJOB, which I know is a little bit down. This can be kind of a hassle because I seem to go past it a lot. So CJOB. So whatever color you want that to be. So we want that to be the purple. So we want to come down. We want to grab the decimal value, the raw decimal value. Control C, Control V, Control V. So there we go. Now the main color of our home jersey should be purple. So that's all we're gonna do for now. Um, you guys kind of get the gist. That's just kind of the outline of how to do it. It's like obviously you can keep looking to find these other values for the things you wanna change. And every team builder jersey, depending on the jersey um, and uniform that you picked, there's some of these are gonna have a top stripe, some of these aren't, some of these are gonna have a collar color too, some aren't. So you kind of have to kind of figure it out on your own to an extent. So it can take a while. This can be a lengthy process, like I already mentioned. So I'll kind of give you guys some tips on how to do that later. But then another thing that I want to show you guys is if you want to change, since you are changing the name, you see where it says sharks right here? Um, what you'll want to do, <coughs> oh, excuse me. Did I just pass it? Where did it go? Sharks. So we'll change this to lions and lions and then this value should affect the one right before it should affect how big it is so you can either have one which is the smallest two which is medium and three is the largest and so that'll be the name this one this first one is the name on the front of your jersey and then obviously down the line here i'll kind of find the other one so then the second one second one is away jersey so we'll we'll do that too actually just to show you Put lions in there, lions in there. We'll make it three, we'll make it three. So that's the away jersey done. And then this should be alt one. So we'll do lions, lions. I'm doing this completely off of memory. So there's a chance that some of these values aren't, you know, I'm not doing it exactly correct, but you guys kind of get the gist of what's going down. So there we go. So it should be the biggest and then we'll save that just to make sure we don't lose any of our work. Um, so that's really all we're gonna edit for now. So you kind of have to figure out, I kind of figured out some of them. Obviously you use a basis, but like I said, every uniform is gonna be different. So you'll get to a point where you'll have checked. What you wanna do is you wanna go through all these first. And then once you're done going through all these, you're probably still gonna have um, number values in here, like colors that aren't the colors you picked. So say, say you get to a point where like this is still the old color. So like, I think this is, I think this is a pink, even though the team's supposed to be blue, I think the files kind of have it messed up and it like makes it pink. It's weird. The pink equals the blue, at least for this, um, this team builder team. But kind of what you want to do is you want to remember which which number values like say so three five nine kind of just as a short way to remember this like oh that's a pink one i remember this from editing the team yesterday so all the pink which is technically blue actually i'll want to replace with this purple value 
So like once you get to a point where you've used up all of these, you'll kind of just want to go off of what the old colors are. So just kind of have a gist of what your jersey, like you kind of want to know what your uniform looks like. So for an example, say yesterday on the dudes on the list on the Reddit post, they didn't have the alt helmet main color. So I had to search and find it. And kind of how I found it was I looked and I found that, okay, look at this. Everything that's alt helmet has a CH in front of it. Okay. So then when I wanted to find the main color, I took CH, but then I looked up here at primary helmet main color and I found that it's an OB. It has a B at the end. All helmet main color has a B at the end. That's kind of how I matched it up. So if you guys are having issues finding something, so say you want to find, you know, the, as you can kind of see here, pants, um, pants usually start with CP. And then you just kind of want to match up and then you'll see that the secondary ones start with B. It, that's kind of a way to match it up, like kind of how to find out what matches with what. That's how I found out the alt helmet. So when you get to a point when you have everything filled in, but there's still the wrong, um, you probably just heard my cat meow. I apologize about that. So when you have the wrong color in there, so say you still have the pink in here, you want to replace that with this. And if you kind of want to know what it, what it edits, if you can figure it out, kind of de deciphering, judging by these four letter codes, if you want to call them that, um, you put, kind of start to put it together. That's kind of what I've been doing recently. And you guys will have to do that for your own saves because obviously the team builder that I have does not have the same uniforms as yours. So the colors are going to be different and you guys are going to have different things. Like you guys might have a secondary pants color too and I might not. So there's going to be a color value in there for you but not for me. That's probably a lot to take in. Um, if you have any questions, obviously, feel free to either, you know, message me, comment, whatever, whatever you need to do to figure it out. But I will have this list in here for you guys. And like I said, I'm going to delete all this so you guys don't see that. But that's really all we have to do in uniforms for now. And now I'm going to go into the actual game and I'm going to show to you guys that it worked. But I guess I should show you guys for who doesn't know how to use the editor and how to get it back onto the game. I'll show you guys how to do that. So I saved it, as you can see. So now I'm going to close it. I'm going to open Mario back up, open both of these back up. So what you'll want to do is you want to right click on this and you want to click replace file. And so then I'm going to take, you want to take the file. You don't want to take the database file. You want to take the file. So you click open and then that should just replace it. And then what you want to do is you want to click save to device. This is at least for the Xbox brand USB. You'll have to do this. And then I'll go to my profile and then it'll save it. For a normal USB, you might just open a save. I'm not really too sure. So if somebody knows how to do that and can help you out if you have any issues, you know, hopefully somebody watching this video knows how to do it that way. So then now we can close Mario and then I will eject this USB drive and then I will see you when I'm back on my Xbox. All right, so now I'm back on the Xbox. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go into Dynasty. I have my flash drive plugged in by the way. I'm gonna go to select device. USB and then it should be this one as you can see it's the EA Sports logo like I said there's really nothing you can do about that unless somebody can figure out how to put Alabama like how they have the numbers on their helmet unless you can figure out how to do that or if you pick a team builder with numbers on the helmet that would probably be the way to go because then they'd have numbers on the helmet not the EA logo but as you can see Central Alabama Lions main menu screen change to green so that means your main color is going to be green and I'll show you, we'll go to edit roster here, uh, Central Alabama, we'll go to this guy, click edit, and as you can see, look at that, his accessory colors are green, because that's what your quote unquote team color is, but then you can also see we changed our main jersey to purple, and then we have the lions on there. The lions were what we added in when we typed in, we typed in the text and then we put the one, two, or three to make it big, and then it would show up on the jersey. And obviously, if you put zero, there will be no text on the jersey. So one thing 
I forgot to mention when I was back on the computer, you might not be able to visualize it now, so I apologize. But what you'll want to do is after you put um, after you put the name in, like the lions, and then you put whatever size you want it. I think if you recalc the maps on the editor, it, the new values for the color of of uh, the the word and the outline of the word, as you can see, the outline's blue and the words are black. The new colors for that, or I guess the values for that, should fill in, if I remember correctly. Otherwise, what you'll have to do is you'll have to load it up like I talk, like I just did now, and then load it back up into the editor, editor, and then the value should be there. So then you can kind of know which value is the color for the words. And the key to this is kind of remembering which decimal color is black. So then when you're looking through, you see like a black and it's near where you put in the lions. Like, okay, you can kind of assume that this might, there's a chance that this might be the word color. And like I said, if, if a bunch of you start doing this and we can all start to figure out what is what, that would be awesome. And then we can make a huge, you know, document just, you know, outlining which values which of the four digit values and columns applies to what in game. But then, like I said, you're stuck with the EA sports logo on the helmet, pretty ugly, but I think this is kind of like a step in the right direction for having no team builder. So you can completely customize this as far as you want. You can like here, I'll show you, I'll back out of this one and I'll show you what I did with my team. This is one that I, um, that I run on my stream. I run a dynasty on my stream. I just started last night with this team. So definitely, you know, feel free to check it out. I'll probably link it, my Twitch in, in the description, but we'll go back to my normal hard drive. And I always keep on my flash drive, if I edit any of the files, like for this, this is my normal team builder one that I just started yesterday. I have a backup of it on my flash drive from the beginning of the season, just in case something crashes, because when you're using the editor, there's always that chance. So we'll load this up and I'll kind of show you what I did. So as you can see, Bellevue State Bobcats, completely custom, you search them, you should not find a team like that. Um, I'll show you the uniforms that I have. I went through, um, I edited the rosters as well, but like these are away uniforms. Like I said, the EA Sports logo is ugly, but what can you do? Um, this is our alt helmet, our alt jersey, uh, secondary pants. Um, I'll show you the home jersey. Where is it? Oh, that's helmet. Home jersey, the red, alt two, the gray. And so, like I said, judging on what what uniform you're using, like if you see the black stripes on there, on this uniform, the other ones don't have that. Or if they do, it's just straight. This one has it, but that's how you can kind of figure out if you know what your jersey looks like you can kind of figure out okay this is black and it's on the alt 2 like the 2 the 4 letter code kind of makes me believe that it could be on the alt 2 jersey based on the prefixes like the two first letters of the all, all of the alt 2 codes they're obviously not all the same but they're, they're a lot of them are similar so that's how you can kind of figure out what is what and so then you can kind of figure out okay this is black so it's either the the where it says Bellevue, it's either the black that's on there or it's the black that's on the stripes. If it has the two digit codes that makes you believe that it's on the alt jersey. That's kind of how you can figure it out. I know it sounds confusing. Hopefully I explained it enough. If I didn't, if I went too fast, if it just wasn't clear enough, definitely let me know. Um, I definitely would be willing to answer questions about it. Obviously, like I said, I don't have the most information about it. I literally got all my information from that reddit post i showed you and then i just did it like probably six hours of trying to figure this out it took me forever to figure out how to change the menu color because i was changing two of them i was changing the tbrc and the tb2r or the tbcr and the tb2r and i and it kept changing it to blue and i'm like why is it changing it to blue well it was because i wasn't changing the green or the blue scales so like i said um go with that you want to change that so like you could even have you could you could have red jerseys like i do right now but you could have if you change your primary color to like yellow you could have yellow gloves if you really want to do that for your team for everyone who's wearing team color apparel 
So there's, there's honestly kind of a lot you can do with it. Um, I'm just hoping that I can get through a full season with this team without like having any corruption or anything from the data file because I edited it, which you never really know. But I didn't show you guys the stadium, but the stadium does change. You can trust me on that. From the testing I've done, though, I think you can only change the stadium during preseason, if I remember correctly. I don't think you can change it during the middle of the season, but I could be wrong. If somebody knows more about that, you might be able to change it. I could be wrong. Someone who knows more about the editor probably knows the answer to that. But, yeah, that should be about it. I, I'll hopefully have all the links in the description. If not, like I said, the editor should be relatively easy to find. Madio should be easy to find. I'll try to get my document up so you guys can use it as a, a basis for the values of what I've come up with. Um, but yeah, hopefully we can, you know, this gives us some life for editing jerseys on team builder teams. Unfortunately, you can't do this on regular teams. Like you can't take Alabama and make their jerseys blue, but you can do this with team builder teams. So like if you made your team builder way back and you kind of just want to change your jerseys up a little bit, well, then you can do it with the editor right here. Or if you want to completely create a new one, you can do what I did and just take a whatever team builder team that you kind of like the uniforms of or whatever, and you can just redo the color scheme. You can rename them, new stadium, all that kind of stuff. So this is a step in the right direction. Hopefully, if any of you guys out there are doing this as well, you guys can kind of help me as well so we can learn more as to what each value does for each jersey and stuff like that. We can kind of get like a cemented basis for what does what and so we don't really have to guess and check as much because I had to do a lot of guessing and checking and it's a pain in the butt having to move the flash drive from your computer back to your Xbox to your computer to your Xbox so anyways I hope you guys enjoyed I hope this helps you out I hope more people start doing this like I said maybe at some point we can figure out how to change the get either no logo on the helmets just have plain helmets I guess if you find a team builder team that has plain helmets you could do it or if you find a team builder team that has numbers on the helmet, then you should be fine. No EA Sports logo on the helmet. But unfortunately, if you have the logo on the helmet on the team builder, and if you change the logo, if you don't want to keep the logo and you want to get rid of the logo because it doesn't match, you'll have to be stuck with the EA Sports logo. Not the biggest deal because at least we can get team builder teams back for the most part. Um, like I said, this probably isn't new information. I bet there's probably people who have done this so many times before and just never like made a video. I just wanted to make the information public since I kind of just found out about it ever since Team Builder went down for good. I kind of had my hopes that it would stay up, but it didn't. But yeah, I'm rambling now, so thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, you know, in the comments, whatever, find a way to get in contact with me. Maybe somebody else can answer the question as well. But I hope you guys have a good rest of your day.